everybody how you doing? As you know, this is cold. Uh, you will probably have to turn this up, so I'm not going to speak real loud. Uh, I've been uh, doing too many foisters, so you can hear me now. Conversations that I don't have for us now. I mean, see. A bit, there's a hole in my neck, okay? And by the grace of God, it healed, okay? And I only herniated my vocal cords. So when I speak low like this, you really have to pay attention, please. It's like last night. I was delirious. I wanted to show my wife how fucking hot it was that she wanted to wait out three days in the fucking heat before turn on the goddamn air conditioner in this house. So, you know, you get up at 3.54 in the afternoon and you, you jump out of that fucking park sack and roll it a couple wet ones. Y'all feel fucking bad, but you go by the AC and that motherfucker's sitting on 86 on thing. And it's upstairs. It's a big motherfucking house. We got 2400 BTU for the upstairs. 2200 BTU for the downstairs. Use them. Put them on. Uh, you know. Auto. Uh, you know what I mean? To, to uh, save energy. And energy save energy save. But that's not why I'm trying to make this. Um, I'm watching this John Fogarty concert. And it's taking calls. I mean, there's things I've got that I will not put on YouTube, like by Stevie Ray and stuff. Those are my cult relics. I And, uh, but this is like a radio show, and they're calling in and doing requests and stuff. And John's talking to him. And it just threw Vietnam right back in his fucking face, man. And I know it's got to be, it took you 20 years practically to uh, publicly do anything. You uh, because of fucking Vietnam fucked him up. He was there. You know, you weren't. And maybe you were. If there were any vets that were there, you can leave a comment. Other than that, shut the fuck up. Because that's where I grew up listening to every motherfucking day on the God Bless and Boo Box. The fucking propaganda box. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we grew up to. And then, now, the government wasn't satisfied with that. They wanted to start the riots against the black man and the white man. Thank God that I'm like stuck in the middle, you know, with Jerry Rafferty. Because I'm neither. Uh, and we would eat in the basement. Okay? Literally. Literally. Eat in the basement. With a 12 gauge motherfucking shotgun locked and loaded. And a 45. I mean, what kind of shit was that? Okay? Doesn't that tell you anything, Queen of Fighters? And John just fucking nailed me down on the fucking head, man. Running through the jungle. Center field. Center field is just like being the rooster in Allison Chains. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Today. Yes, I am. Yeah. It's like the rooster. Do you know what the rooster is either? Just
to head person that the lieutenant picks out for the day to lead the platoon, okay, to jump, to chant, and all that shit, because we've been everywhere. It's despicable. The hell's wrong with you people? When are you gonna fucking wake up? God bless it, Freedom Fires. Do something. Do fucking something. Get off your ass. I mean that. Get off your ass and do something. Yeah, I'm a mumbling motherfucker, ain't I? I bet you fucking heard that, didn't you? Get off your ass and stick up for your rights to be free. Get the government off our ass. Do you want to be microchip? Motherfuckers, you're looking dead at it. It's coming. They already did the kids in Wyoming and four other states. You know what they tell them? It's for your help. So we can immediately get a hold of your doctor. Well, give me a fucking, I'm fine and I can't get up, but, you know, give me one of them. You ain't putting nothing in my body. No, the microchip in your hands. Yeah. It's as big as I told you earlier is a piece of rice and, and it's in your hand. No way. No way they won't put that in mine. They don't fucking wear. I'll chop my goddamn hand off. I'm not going to be tracked. You, would you want to be tracked for everything? It, everywhere, everything that you do. How about when you're smoking a fucking joint and they know it? Huh? I've told you a million times Big Brother's been out of quality. You know, he cleared him cobwebs out a long time ago. See, when Jack Road passed, they kind of just put everything in the closet. Kind of hid it from it. How many of you have noticed as you go down the highway there's a camera on every other one of those motherfucking metal poles on the side of the road? Did you ever get a speeding ticket a month after you drove down that highway? Come to Ohio. They'll do it to you. Is that not being owned? that own you. Stop it. One million seven hundred seventy five thousand people it takes to do sixteen hundred Pennsylvania Avenue against the government in a manly way. And you can't even sit in a chat room and associate with each other. I look around and I know. And I always sign in. I never ghost. I've never ghosted. <clears throat> a gentleman that does ghost sends me clips I get about people. And uh, they sure didn't like it too damn much. And when I told him I had your clips on war but crying on blonde TV. You know, and then I sat there and I signed in Bond Helter's room. And he didn't even notice me. He was so wrapped up in his little bullshit. At least I say hi to the people that come around me, which is very few. You got it. There was a gentleman that came in the other day. He said, Damn, Cole, great to see you, man. How you been? And I said, Yeah, I'll explain my name a little bit, but I didn't bitch him on. And 
He goes, who's Hurley, eh? I said, oh, and they, they think that I'm just a big ass butthead now, you know, they're better than me. Because they learned to do a show. They can't entertain to save their fucking life, but they think they can. You know, and if you got tits, you're in there, baby. If you got tits, you gotta have tits. So, I was talking to Dopey Smurf. Uh, I, you know, I settled her down a little bit in her college years. She was getting all stressed out doing theses and things. I said, stop. Dopey. Come on, honey. Yeah, just breathe deep. Breathe deep. As the Moody Blues would say, ten times. Settle down. Get your blood pressure down. So you can clearly think. Now come on, it's a thesis. It's probably at least 5,000 words, okay? And, and in detail. At least you've got a fucking typewriter when we didn't. Man. Yeah. So that's how, and when I was like two or three, three, maybe three, maybe two, uh, we just came home from Korea. But we're still in Korea. You know, nukes. Fucking nukes. You know what? I'd like to take the scientist that invented nukes and fucking cut his neck off and shit down his throat. There's, it, it's boom, boom, out go the lights. And that's the way we act. We are considered the, the, the big power country. Bullshit. We're fucking shit. Fucking look at Canada, how big they are. You know what? Canada don't fuck with nobody. But I'll tell you what, you fuck with them, they, oh man, they're gonna fuck you up. Bottom line. You know? But we realize that they're they're an ally of ours. Are they really? I think they're tired of us picking wars. Because we do. That's, you say America three times. Say it three fucking times. Mr. Montgomery, you tell them. You tell them what we do. We fucking bomb you. We fucking desecrate you. We fucking cut down and we kick your fucking ass. Alright? Why? You tell me why. If you don't unite and stand as one, we all bleed red. Ask the Wookiee what color he bleeds. Red. Red man. Red. White man. Red. Yellow man. Red. Everybody bleeds. Red. Even the deer that I killed last week. So what? I, I'm eating. I eat bad. That's why I have a second amendment ball. I try not to make that public. You know, when I go hunting. Yeah. But we have an overpopulated state of deer right now. I mean, they've extended a lot of things. Um, the plus we have a deer reserve down in Miami Whitewater Park. You know, that's the place where I fucking Bob Walls is wallet. <laughs> I'm driving in his Jaguar. And he acted so funny. He was drunk, really, though. But I didn't even throw a breathalyzer. I got out of it, you know. I just didn't have a driver's license. <laughs>
and driver's license and pay you debit. And And, uh, but he got so fucked up, I said, Bob, either you let me drive, or I'm calling a cab. You are not driving. And, uh, he said, okay, here, you drive. You always wanted to run, drive a Jaguar. You know, I've had good times, bad times my whole life, okay? But all I'm trying to tell you, you're going to have a lot more bad times if you don't wake up and smell this shit. Okay? Put it together as one. Unite. Find one another. Boom! Unite. Divided, you go nowhere. And you're not paying attention. And I'm not mumbling. Damn it to hell. Wake the fuck up. This government owns you. Stop it.